When it comes to building multilingual WordPress websites, it doesn't get much easier than using WPML. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily start to use that with the forthcoming version of Gutenberg and how we can also take advantage of the ability to automatically translate anything we want on our website. So let's take a look at that in action. With the release of WordPress 5 just around the corner and the inclusion of Gutenberg, the new editor, there's a lot of confusion about what will and what won't work. Well, WPML has released 4.1 recently, and with that, it's got great integration into Gutenberg. So we're going to take a look at that in this video on how you can use it and how it just takes all your translations over and keeps everything else the way you'd want it to. Well, my name is Paul C. This is WP Touch, the channel where I show you how to create beautiful WordPress websites. If this is your first time on the channel, please consider subscribing and smashing that bell icon below to become a part of the WP crew to be notified whenever new content is released. And before I go ahead, this is a sponsored video. The lovely people over at WPML have asked me to create this content to show you exactly how you can use WPML to create your multilingual sites and just some of the new tools that work with Gutenberg. So to keep this video nice and short, I've already gone ahead and downloaded the key plugins that I need. You can see them, the four plugins at the bottom, which are prepended with WPML. Once I've done that, I'm good to go. I've also gone ahead and created a post inside Gutenberg. So you can see everything is laid out in there as you'd expect, using the various different block elements to create the page. So as the page is already set up, we just need to go through the translation process. So what I'm going to do is just come over to this option on the right hand side and if we scroll down, you can see we have an option there that says language. Now I've set this up to be French translated. So any other language, if you want multiple languages, you can do that as well. This video isn't about how you set up WPML, just how it works with Gutenberg and with the automatic translation process. So you can see the English language is the language that the post is created in and the translation priority, we're going to set that to required. We're going to come down there and make sure that everything else is set up. So you can see French is the language we're going to use and we've got everything we want already configured and set up. So now if we go ahead and hit the translate, the little plus by translate next to any of the languages we have set up, that'll take us through to the advanced language translation settings. So we click on there, that'll take us over then and we can just check to make sure that everything looks good. And there's our translation. On the left hand side is our parent language. In this example, it's English. Then we've got the target for the French language. And if you had any additional languages, they'd also be listed there for you. So you can see we can now click on any of these different sentences, titles, anything at all, just to make sure that the translation is perfect. Once we've done that, all we need to do is click on finish. That will then show us a preview of it. We can click on complete and we're then pretty much good to go. That then simply takes us back over into our editor inside WordPress itself and we can scroll down and you can see that everything is now set up. So the translation is showing us all the translations that are being completed. If you want to edit those, we can simply click on the little pencil icon so we can edit the French translation. We'll update this page. Once we've updated the page, we'll go back then and take a look at all our posts. So we come back to all posts you can see that we now have the English version, which is our original post. We have the pencil icon next to that under the French section, telling us that the translation has been completed and we can go in and edit that translation if we want to. So we click on that, that will take us through and load back into where we just saw we can go through and we can refine any mistakes, any errors, anything we want to update in there. And again, we can just click on finish once we've done and made all the changes we want. And then we are good to go back to our page and continue working. So just hopped over to the test site. As you can see, we've got our different language options at the top. So you've got English and French. We scroll down because we're currently in the English language. You can see there's our posts. There's our new post we just created, all in English. We can click through and go and take a look at the post itself. And again, you can see everything is in English. I've also set the option to say that this post is also available in any of the languages that I've got. And if you want to, you can click on that. That'll take you through that particular translation. That's just one of the options inside WPML itself, which is pretty cool. So if we come back up, we just hit the French version. That'll take us over now and you can see everything is now translated into French with everything laid out perfectly all inside Gutenberg Editor. So it works seamlessly with the Gutenberg Editor and the translation process is incredibly simple to deal with. So hopefully what this has shown you is how easy it is to create translations and multilingual websites using WPML and the automatic translation service. This was using the advanced translation editor, but if you wanted to go down the route of either translating it yourself, if you're comfortable with multiple languages, you can do that easily, or you can use some of the paid for services that integrate directly into WPML. 
So if you wanted to have that done and you're happy to pay for that service, you can use those external translation services to ensure that you get a perfect translation into any language that you want to support on your website. So that's what I wanted to demonstrate in this sponsored video from WPML. Hopefully what you've seen is, is it's very easy to start creating multilingual websites with a range of different options for your translations, all supported by WPML. If you'd like to find out more information, pricing, etc., all the links are in the description below so you can check that out and find out if this is a service and or a plugin that you'd like to use on your website. As always, I'd love to get your feedback on this video. Please pop your comments, questions and feedback in the comments section below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down, but let me know why you didn't enjoy the video. And as always, my name's been Paul C. This has been WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.